Hello and welcome to Jack's FSX videos and thank you for tuning in to episode 62 of the ongoing series. The last general episode for about two years. Uh, so for those of you who don't know and haven't watched the two year shutdown video which is available on my channel. I will be shutting down Jack's FSX videos almost completely for two years. The only series that will definitely be continuing is the FlightSim.com series as I don't want to... Uh, end the partnership with them and possibly the Captain Sim series. I haven't decided on that yet. Uh, but there will still be episodes released of both of those series up until the end of the year and I'll make a decision for the Captain Sim series uh, later on. So, this episode is a touch and go landing. So, you've got to tune in to the airport, find, uh, sorry, the area, find the nearest airport list and then select the airport you want so this is a portland international airport which is number four on this list but happened to change just as i pressed it so i have to go back and select three uh, then you tune into the tower and then it's giving gives you options so obviously you request touch and go which is number three uh, and then it will speak obviously as it is now and then it'll come up with options again uh, for you to say so you just obviously acknowledge it um of what it's said and repeat it back so you just acknowledge the patting entry instructions or you can select another runway for landing in this case the other option is runway two eight right um it will always be the one parallel to it so i'm not going to go for that i am actually coming in the wrong runway here i was just already lined up, up with it and i just didn't bother going around because it still shows you what to do in this episode so it doesn't really matter if I'm coming in the wrong way. Uh, yeah, so that's what that is. Then you can request airport direction if you want. Uh, if obviously you're coming in from a different angle and not already lined up. And then it'll tell you, like it says uh, there, 12 o'clock, 6 miles. So 12 o'clock is obviously right in front of you. 3 o'clock is, is 90 degrees to your right. 6 o'clock is 180 degrees straight behind you and so on. Um, yeah, so obviously you just come in. If you want to know what a touch and go landing is and how you do it and all that, uh, you can watch episode 19 of the ongoing series. I think it's episode 19, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, it's somewhere on my ongoing series playlist, which is available on my channel. Uh, so, yeah, you just literally keep on coming in. Uh, reducing speed, normal landing procedure, Nothing, nothing's different for landing. Um, yeah, so nothing, nothing's that different at all. And usually, just before this point, it would it would say you're clear to land. But obviously, I'm coming in at the wrong runway, so it doesn't say that. Uh, but it would say uh, Cessna. Then obviously, the name of the aircraft, uh, clear to land runway, whatever it is. Um, but like I said, it doesn't say this on here because I'm coming in on runway ten right, when I should be on two eight left. Which is the same landing strip, just opposite ends. And also, when I land, it's going to say you are not clear to land because obviously I'm coming in the wrong way, so it hasn't cleared me. So then it obviously sort of tells me off for landing and to clear the runway. So obviously, like I said, normal landing procedure: you flare, throttle should be at idle. Then once you're on the ground, you put the flaps into the takeoff position. Uh, which varies by aircraft, it's usually around 25%. Uh, and then you put the throttle back up to 100% and you take off again, just as you would during a normal takeoff. And then the flaps go in and everything once you've reached the certain speed. Uh, once again, varies by aircraft, like a Boeing 777 is uh, 200 knots. Uh, you got to reach before bringing the flaps. And uh, yeah, then that's it, you just carry on. Uh, so thank you for watching this episode and there will be no more ongoing series episodes for about two years along with uh, the main series, improvements, aircraft airport flight show and the around the world series and possibly the Captain Sim series for at least two years, well about two years, possibly a bit less. Uh, and as I've said in a few of the other videos, thank you for all those who are subscribed to me right now. Um, even if you just subscribed a few days ago, thank you for subscribing. And um, please do say subscribe because obviously there's no harm in staying subscribed. It's not going to do anything. You'll just 
be the first ones to know when my channel is back up again. And obviously, if you like the Captain Sim Flight Sim.com series, you'll obviously get to keep watching those. But there is no there's no commentary in those. So this is the second last commentary video. The last commentary video will be the Christmas special 2014 episode, which will be out on the 25th of December. Um, please take a look at my website, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus pages. Just stay up to date until I've shut down. And obviously they'll keep on going at minimum levels after that. Thanks for watching.